Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 4 with me, Get Daved. Let's finish Mega Man 4. Some good walking, Mega Man. We're teleporting. I don't know. We're pretty much at the end of it, though. For reals. Or at least for this game. Spoiler warning, it might take a little while for Mega Man to hunt down Dr. Wily. I probably should have used it. Okay, let's see what we can do here. The only thing we really care about is Pharaoh Man's weapon. One more? Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. A one-up. Comes to my attention, I probably should have charged up Pharaoh Man's weapon now. Also, enjoy the music. Yeah, not quite fast enough. I like to hold on to this thing up top. Yeah, Dr. Wily will he'll do the disappearing thing. Dang it! That was just a missed opportunity. I'm cheap, so I don't like to fire it until I've gotten the two-for-one option. Dr. Wily's being a bit of a chicken here. There we go. If I keep holding the shoot button, I can still stalk it, so... There we go. You can manage to take about four hits. Yeah, that's too bad. I'm kinda... I don't know, maybe I should watch for a pattern. Right now I'm focusing on just the dodges. Probably heal. And I think the only weapon that works is the Pharaoh shot, by the way. So it is reasonable to, uh. You know, serving. save your ammo. Oops. I got excited there. You did, Dr. Wiley! Nah, he's totally fine. Truthfully, this is not one of the harder end bosses in Mega Man history. That would probably go to 1 or 7. Got a bad feeling about that structure. Mega Man, beam out! Mega Man! There we go. Now I'm not 100% sure why Mega Man took so long to get out of there, because he can just beam out. Dr. Wily had to, you know, physically take off in a spaceship. I thought I just blew it up, but whatever. This is back in the day where programmers had to use, uh, code names in the end. Or, yeah, just for the credits, I should say. Just because, uh, employee poaching was so rampant. I'm kind of surprised, you know, you're allowed to do that. If they tried doing that for a movie, I think the Screen Actors Guild, they'd be all over that. In a bad way. Miss 21. Hello. Apparently Mega Man likes to stand on top of trains going around the city whenever he, you know, defeats evil. I'd probably be cool with that. Just wants to feel the wind through his metal hair. I remember Bun Bun. Give yourself 10 Get Dave points if you remember Bun Bun from the Mega Man 3 LP credits, or anywhere else. Give yourself another 10 if you, uh, remember Bun Bun from the webcomic Sluggy Freelance. Sepia Tones! I guess they live in that ideal house on the, on the hill? That's Light Labs?
And now an arrangement of Mega Man's theme. It's not as good as the Mega Man 2 version, but whatever. Bridge. Starting with Mega Man 2, they started numbering all the robot masters. And so, that's just sort of continued through all the Mega Man main number series. They didn't do it in Mega Man 1, so in, of course, Mega Man 3 they went back and renumbered those ones. There's also a Mega Man comic book I check out. Yeah, no big deal. It's pretty popular with the ladies. And they have, uh, to get it so that there was eight robot masters in every generation. They have an interim comic book between Mega Man's 1 and 2 where they uh, have Oil Man and some sort of time-stopping robot as the villains in it, and they're sort of in, still classified as the first generation. The Mega Man comic in question is put out by Archie Comics. It's quite nice. Think about it. Anyway, everybody, that's it for this LP. Sorry for some of the recording hiccups. I'm still trying to learn a little bit more about if there's a workaround for Camtasia. But anyway, I really enjoyed uh, playing the Mega Man games, and I'll see you all in the next LP.